if you go anti-clockwise that's his um, better side and ride him around the poles um, first on the outside okay. and see how you can keep him on that small circle so you ride it so he's just not going over the poles okay. and if you can hold that well then ride him on the outermost part you see unfortunately not all the poles have the color but if you just Imagine all the poles have the blue and pink and you just ride the first off ride around it as close as possible but not on it and then you ride just over the, the pink bits. So I'll go around and start on the pink. Yeah, start on the pink and just aim for, for the pink on the outside and then you go, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well yeah, maybe just aim for the the color change where the color changes from pink to blue. Okay. Well Bernie. Well yeah, keep going, keep going. Well now you have to keep him. You have to keep him on that circle with the outside leg. Just put your outside leg on. Have the outside rein on as well. So you imagine you're building a wall with the outside leg and the outside rein that he can't fall out through. So yeah, keep going. Outside leg, outside rein. Don't pull the no 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 no. Don't cross your hands. Um, and now put your outside leg on, and imagine that you're steering the shoulders with your knees. And the reins are like a corridor. Yeah, yeah, there you go. There you go. Keep going. And really focus on where you want to go. Focus your mind on where you want to go. No. Um, Brenda, um, the re just keep going. I've put this on film now. Y you don't want to collapse to the inside. He just went out because you're collapsing your body to the inside of the circle. If you collapse your body to the inside of the circle, like you just did, you're pushing him out. You're pushing him out more. So it's not such an easy exercise to do, is it? So the main thing is you stay straight. Don't collapse. Have the outside leg on, outside rein. Build, build the wall. And now we've changed the whip to the outside. If you feel that he's still falling out, give him just a light little tap to say to him, and really important, focus on the place, or on the poles, where you want to ride over. So you focus, yeah, focus on the pink and blue uh, colour change now. Yes, keep going. Whip on the outside, yeah, maybe he needs to tap, tap. Yes, 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 yes. Outside rein, outside leg, whip, tap, tap on the shoulder a bit because he wants to fall out. Don't, don't collapse on the inside. Yep, stay straight. Focus on where you want to ride. Don't cross your hands. Good. I don't usually like filming upright, but I'm just doing it now because that I want to show the rider position and what the horse is doing, and I can only get that all in one go either if I'm really far away. Yes, yeah. Imagine that board like a firmness along the outside of your left side, yeah. Yes, yes. Stay firm. Can you see that that is a lot easier? Look, and now you're straight as well. You're almost a little bit to the outside now, but, but, but that seems to work better for him. It doesn't push him away from the circle. Well done, Brenda, because it's it's you. You've changed something in your body. Can you? Did you notice it? Uh, what an effort, though. When you make it sound, feel, look so um, 
easy. Do you know what I mean when you do it? I'm used to doing the boards. <laughs> yeah. Stronger. So obviously th this is his bad side now from the But you see, the, the thing is, I, I think this is his better side because we did say anti-clockwise and yeah, then you I did think you did write clockwise. You, you actually wrote his, uh, his bad side first. Just go around the outside again, first off. Right, so so you may have to aim to make it easier for yourself. Aim a bit bit more for the middle. And also, don't don't make. I, I'm I know I'm saying this now, and you concentrate on one thing, but try to make your hands a little bit less rigid. Have them a little bit more gentle. Have the board on on your right side now. And uh, yeah, exactly. Use the use the rib. Tap tap the shoulder. Yeah, and just remember the yeah. Remember your outside board. You stay straight. And I think this is easier, a lot easier for both of you because that's his easier side. And it's your stronger leg as well. Yeah. Give him a bit of a stretch. Let him have a stretch. Yeah. 